in the banking and the insurance industry, people are really worried because of the tons and tons of spreadsheet models. And the main problem with these things are they are not controllable and B, uh, they are highly prone to human errors. Sheetcraft is an innovative technology that converts a high risk spreadsheet model into a low risk application, which is easy to control, easy to use and easy to distribute. We are looking to help treat critical limb ischemia by providing the legs with a new vascular network. InjectaFlow seeks to cure that disease by providing a injectable microtissue therapy. Our company implements novel nanomaterials to fabricate stretchable displays with the functionality of a TV, yet as stretchable as rubber and as transparent as glass. We will revolutionize how you experience technology, enabling future generations of wearable electronics. Even.io is, uh, we're building a way for investors to be able to buy, sell, and trade uh, securities and investments um, in a way that's based on cryptography rather than based on trust. And this is really valuable to the market right now. Um, you have funds and firms who spending millions of dollars trying to avoid being detected in what they're doing, and this gives them a very secure way of doing that. When people are buying and selling stocks and, and bonds and things like that, it's so valuable that Companies literally pay hundreds of millions of dollars a year to save 13 milliseconds. Fishing costs the private sector over $11 billion every year, and our mission is to make it obsolete. Pixum is making a real-time fish detection API. This uses deep learning to detect visual trademarks on unauthorized login pages. Stroke is consistently among the top two or three causes of death in the U.S., and our technology will help it to decrease the incidence of stroke by measuring blood pressure and the stiffness of large arteries close to the heart. So our technology is the Echo Pulse. Uh, it is a portable, non-invasive ultrasound device that aims to decrease the incidence and cost of major cardiovascular issues such as stroke, hypertension, and heart disease. So the basic idea for novel technologies came from research conducted in Jim Hone's lab in the Department of Mechanical Engineering in Columbia School of Engineering. We're fortunate enough to gain a Columbia Engineering Seed Fund Ignition Grant, which provides us with seed funding, which is allowing us to pursue future funding opportunities to transition this technology from an idea and basic science into an actual functioning prototype. This new therapy would enable us to inject the building blocks of blood vessels, and then once inside the body, they will connect on their own and form a new blood vessel network. Developing such a new therapy for such a big need uh, makes it not just fun, but very, very important to get up and go to work every day. Uh, if I get the check, the first word that comes to my mind would be yes! <laughs> Entrepreneurship is a, a popular topic at a lot of universities. Uh, you see it, it's kind of a buzzword in, in tech and innovation and things like that. Uh, one thing you notice at Columbia is that they really, really care. They really look out for one another and they're really trying to create an environment uh, for entrepreneurial success and you can really feel that uh, when you're trying to get something off the ground and I think it's uh, Columbia is really the place to be for entrepreneurship.